In this tutorial, we will get you started with Snap Maps and teach you the basics of the web-based application. Snap Maps is a website that works from within the Snap Plus program. Snap Maps is a real time saver since it allows you to draw your fields on an aerial photo and then lets you bring all the corresponding map based information such as soil types and areas with special nutrient management requirements into Snap Plus. This video will cover just the basics of Snap Maps and give a brief overview of how it works with Snap Plus. Before we get started, we have to make a few assumptions about what has already been done in Snap Plus. We are going to assume that you have filled out the farm screen with the county your fields are in already selected, and that Snap Plus already has a list of field names from importing soil test results. You must have this information before continuing with Snap Maps, so the website can have the necessary information like field names, soils, and relative geographic location in order to operate. Let's get started. Go to the Snap Map screen, click on the green upload button to upload your field information to the Snap Maps web application. Once the button turns gray, click the website tab to open up Snap Maps. The map will automatically zoom to the county you selected on the farm screen. Now that you're in Snap Maps, let's start by adding our field boundaries. If you have shapefiles of your fields, then you should watch our video on importing shapefiles into Snap Maps for instructions on how to add them. Otherwise, we will draw them ourselves. Go to Drawing Tools, Draw a Feature, and Field. The tool will be activated and you can now draw the field by left clicking on the map and tracing the outline of the field. When you finish drawing the boundary, double click on the last point or go back to the first point and single click on it to close the boundary. Snap Maps already has your field list from Snap Plus, so you can select the field's name from the drop down menu under Select an Existing Name in Snap Plus. Otherwise, type in the field's name under Type in a Name and click Save the Field. Repeat this process until you have all fields drawn. If you know of any private or public wells or any other features where manure applications are restricted in the vicinity of your fields, you should add those to Snap Maps as well. Go to Drawing Tools, Draw a Feature, then Point. Select the point type from the drop down menu and left click on any areas of the map where those features exist. Click Stop Creating Point Features to save them. There are other features you can draw in Snap Maps to get a full picture of your farm, but for now we are just covering the basics of getting started in Snap Maps with your farm. Now that we've added field boundaries and wells information to Snap Maps, you will need to download all that information back into Snap Plus. Do this by going back to Snap Plus in the Snap Maps tab and selecting Download. Now any changes you made will show up as highlighted cells and you can import this new information by clicking on Import Highlighted Cells. This concludes the video on the basics of Snap Maps. Watch our other Snap Maps videos for more information.